Hi guys, back home again. So we got off our flight this morning. Uh, so, so tired. Yeah, we landed at like nine-ish, got back about 11. We're completely ready, we're going out for some lunch, mainly because I put my name down in Dior for this beautiful book tote bag. They didn't think they were gonna be able to get it, but they put me down the waiting list and they've somehow managed to find me one. So they said, you need to come in today and come and get it. It's kind of rare now, like people went crazy for it, it's so completely sold out, so like it's kind of like, you need to come and get it today. So I was like, okay, I'll come in today, so we're ready. We're going over to Dior to pick up this bag. It's also a pair of shoes that I really wanted to get last time I was in there and they were out of stock and they've got those in for me as well. And we're gonna go and have a little bit of lunch as well. But it's an absolutely glorious day today. So it's nice, so it's nice to come home to a little bit of sun. Oh, this weather is absolutely wonderful. It's putting me in the best mood. We've made it over to Dior already. But I don't feel too tired yet, you know. Yeah, but it's not hit yet. I'm feeling I'm really pretty good. My favourite boutique in the whole world. Do you know this is the biggest Dior boutique in the world? It's not a surprise. Not surprise. That like that dress you had. It is. That's exactly the same as the dress. Guys, the bag is in stock. It's so perfect. They're so perfect. I love them. You guys have seen how much I've worn my beige ones. I am so excited guys. So I came in originally for the bag and then obviously the shoes were back in stock. It's a very spendy Saturday, but it's a big, 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 big treat. I'm really, really excited about it. I'm so, I feel so lucky I managed to get that bag and the amazing black shoes and a few pieces of jewelry. So this is a really, really good day. And now we're gonna go and find Joe and the juice. Hi guys, back from town. And I, uh, don't know what I wanna do now. I need to, um, I need to tie away all my suitcase and all that jazz. I need to do, I need to do a lot of emails. A lot, a lot of emails. I need to sort out lots of things, so I'll quickly show you my bag again. Isn't it beautiful? So if you see my Instagram, you'll have seen that I took the black and white book tote to um, set the issue with me, but that was a sample. And I've had my name down for this for the past few weeks and they've managed to find me one. It's just gonna be that bag I can take to like meetings if I need to take my laptop or if I need to take, I mean, it is, it's called a book tote. So I suppose it's perfect if you do like to carry books anywhere with you, but it's just, I don't know, it's just that perfect like beach bag meets like everything bag. Oh guys, I am so tired. I'm struggling to stay awake. It's only like 7.30, Alex is making dinner. I spent the whole afternoon going through all of my um, beauty samples and sorting out things that I really want to talk about or that I really want to properly look at and kind of separating everything out. So that took me all afternoon because I got some amazing like shampoos, conditioners, some cool new skincare, so I've been putting everything away. Like for example, like the La Mer gel cream, really excited to try this. I've got this now on my desk. Um, this as well, the Kiehl's Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. So this is with pomegranate extract, instantly illuminates the skin, improves glow. I didn't realise what it had, it's got almost a bit of a, a bronzy vibe to it it's just but it's just really illuminating just like grapefruity i think so that looks good so i'm gonna start trying that lip products dior addict lacquer plump and i've got quite a few different shades here there's about i think it was about about 18 shades i've picked my favorites out of these there's some absolutely beautiful colors like the red is so stunning. That's number 868. This one looks really cool. It's like a light mauve, but really like pearlescent and glittery. That's 426. So I'm really looking forward to giving those a try. Um, and they've also got like Dior, they've got out a gorgeous new collection, like beautiful bronzers and new eyeshadow palettes. I think I might have already shown these, but I've just been kind of separating everything out. And then, Chanel sent me this absolutely gorgeous little fluffy bag. I love this. It's going to be like my makeup bag from now on. And inside it, they had boxed up four of these new all in Chanel chants before four different varieties. So, Eau Fresh, Eau Tendre, regular, and this one is Eau Vive in the yellow. And these are great. Just literally just spray on, spray on body oils. And they smell divine, so I'm really, really excited about them. They look awesome. Oh, and Chanel have a whole new Le Beige collection that has come out, and I absolutely loved, like, loved, loved the other Le Beige things. So this one is the Natural Eyeshadow Palette. Let's have a look. Oh, that's 
so pretty. Wow. Those shades are gorgeous. So I've got lots and lots of things to be reviewing and looking at. Hopefully it'll be up on the blog really, really soon. Yeah, a few things from Dior, a few things from Chanel, Dolce & Gabbana, Armani. They've got some really exciting things out at the moment. Which, as you know, they're kind of like my favourite brands, so I like to see what they are up to. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing, and I've been unpacking my suitcase and getting that all sorted. I've been checking out my new bag! <laughs> oh! Time for some food. <gasps> Time for some food. Morning guys, it's Bank Holiday Monday, another glorious day in London. It's absolutely beautiful today. I'm going getting my nails done. Going to dry by, getting my nails done because they are well and true. I mean, look at this one. This broke big, big, big time. How cute is this lipstick, by the way? Before someone asks me and I don't know where it's from, I'm going to tell you right now. It's this one. Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Sugar Mama. The peachy nude. A bit more peachy than I used to go for and I quite like it. Come on. Oh, three minutes away. Oh, I'm already late. Also, new kimono. Isn't it gorgeous? I absolutely love this. Just throwing this on over a very simple chilled outfit. New white jeans, my Dior shoes, kimono, and just this black body. Yeah, so I'm going to get my nails done and then I'm going to benefit to get my eyebrows tinted. Just so a bit deeper and darker and I don't have to keep filling them in. And that's about it. I'll be coming home, doing lots and lots of work later. I've got lots of things on, a few deadlines, which I'll update you on really, really soon. I've just remembered I need some sunny. Ooh, I might go for these ones. These are pretty cool. How beautiful are these? Got them all done. I had some IBX as well just to kind of strengthen up the nails. And then we've gone with two coats of Romantique and then one coat of Bow. So this gorgeous like light, like crystal pink. So beautiful. I love them. I love them. Okay guys, I just got back from um, <laughs> having my brows done. So I usually always go to Benefit Carnival Street and I know from previous experiences that it usually like grabs onto my skin around the edges but today it really, really, really took. I mean, they actually look okay now. I quite like the dark colour. I was just freaking out because they were... I mean, look at this, <laughs> this foundation. Actually, it's not even foundation, it's like a glowy thing. And now this is like raw skin. Could just be... <laughs> oh, but I texted Alex on the way home and was like, oh my god, my brows. But actually, they're not that bad now. Now I've scrubbed at them with some, with just like a flannel and some shampoo. It's actually come off. Thank goodness. And I actually quite like to like the colour now. But, um, oh, it's in panic mode then. Like I was saying to Alex, I was literally right opposite Jill and the Juice. And before I went in into Benefit, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to get Jill and the Juice when I come out. It's going to be delicious. It's going to make the day amazing. And then literally as I left, I had to just get straight in a cab because I was like, I can't be seen with these brows. And they were literally massive, just it taken completely to the skin. But it's all good now, guys. It's all good now. These, actually, I really like how dark they are. I think it's just, I don't know, my skin, every time I go, my skin just takes the dye and clings to it. I mean, I've, I've had it before, I've tanned the day before and then got them done. Don't do that. I mean, they tell you not to do it and I just didn't read that fine print, but then it sticks so bad and it does not come off then either. Whereas this has actually come off, so thank goodness. Yeah, quite like those, a bit darker now. Phew, I was freaking out that that was gonna look really bad. <laughs> Okay, we've just had some lunch, we've had some more coffees, and now for the next five hours probably, I'm gonna sit here on the bed and do this work for my deadline tomorrow, and then get things done. If I don't check in until later, then I'm sorry, but you know, things to do. I've got a little bit fed up with work, what? because it's, I'm talking to the camera, oh. <laughs> because it's so beautiful outside, and Alex hasn't really been outside today, so I've just said, let's go for a little she won't walk. Let me. She keeps making me do work on sunny days. Oh, shush. No, I do not. Um, you've just got nothing else to do. That's why you're doing work bits. I have video games to play. Oh, you've got videos to play. Well, I'm sorry. Um, so I said to Alex, let's go for a little walk. So we're literally going to walk into the shop and go to Pratt and get some bits for dinner, aren't we? But at least we're getting out of the house together. Which would be nice. Morning guys, it's Tuesday, another glorious day. I feel like I keep saying that. I'm in a really, really good mood today. We've just had Avo shakes. 
I am brand new tanned. I've put on a full body of the Vita Liberata Invisi Foam again. I go for medium dark. Thank you all for your amazing comments, by the way, on the Insta video that me and Alex created for that. I'm a huge, huge fan of Vita Liberata, so the fact that I get to work with them recently, and I've worked with them on a few different projects recently, it's been like a dream because they're my favourite, favourite brand. So we put together this Insta video in St. Lucia showing how I, I use the tan, and it was completely like filmed to the time as well like I put it on like I did in the video I did go to sleep in it and then I wake up and that's when we filmed again so it's completely realistic to what actually happened um, so just bought a new coat it just looks lovely lovely and tanned I did my hair last night I put loads of toner on it I still use the L'Oreal Pro silver shampoo toner it's like a little silver bottle it's the best it's the only one I use I get so many people asking me what I still use it's only ever that I'll quickly run through what I do so shampoo your hair first rinse it out and then really dry off the hair so it's just a little, it's not completely like sopping then have loads of the purple shampoo and literally coat your hair in it so that your hair is literally like purpley leave it five minutes or more maybe test this out first i mean my hair reacts really well but i don't want you to come back to me and be like my hair went purple maybe test it out with three minutes i do it for five minutes sometimes even more than that sometimes until i can almost feel my scalp being a little bit tiny a bit tingly and then i take it off and then i know the next day it's gonna look like this that's what I know. So I did my hair, did my tan, got my brows done yesterday, which I'm actually really quite liking now. And then later, in a couple of hours, I'm going getting my lashes done. I'm going getting my lashes LVL'd. And if they can fit me in, I also really want to get them, um, I also want to get the SVS lashes, if they can fit me in as well, which is the amazing, super quick um, falsies. So, fingers crossed. I forgot I'd not shown you what I picked up the other day at Dior. So as well, is my book tote, which I've had a few people message me. They are so rare now. If you want one you really need to kind of put your name down um asap for it i bought a couple of rings i've had my eyes on these for how long have i wanted this ring for babe oh at least four days <laughs> no but six months six maybe. months or something yeah i absolutely love it and every time i tried it on it was always too big for me but then i tried it on again the other day and it was just it was fit it fit really well so i was like mm, okay i decided to get it seeing as this actual ring fit me all the rest always used to like slide off me i don't know why so isn't it pretty oh there it is it's really pretty and, and me and alex particularly love it because it's got the b on it and for us that obviously symbolizes manchester and the manchester b so big big fan and then i also i also saw this the other day and i absolutely just love this ring it just says Shadi or in the very bronzy gold. I really like that. It does come in a set of two, so it comes with this as well, which is Murano glass, which Dior are doing a lot of right now. And it also has a little CD dangling from it as well. Really cute, and it comes in a pair, which is really gorgeous. You could wear them stacked, or the chances are, I mean, to be honest, I think most days I'll probably just throw on this one because it's just so such a nice chilled ring. But this one I'll probably wear maybe on the other hand. It's just just quite a cute little ring and then because um i have Cannes film festival coming up this weekend i needed a new pair of black heels to wear you know what it's like for us ladies when we need our black heels um and i realized i hadn't bought a pair of black heels in about two and a half three years like 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 statement not like normal black heels not like a statement boot or a, like a crazy stiletto but just like a normal statement pump so um dior had also managed to get um these in stock in my size as well so i end up getting these and as you probably know i have the patent beige ones i bought them about a year and a bit ago and they are my most worn heels i have worn them for so many events so many special occasions red carpets different events holidays they are probably my most worn ever shoes so i thought if i get the black i know i'm going to get the wear out of them i mean they were they were more money than i wanted to spend that day but i decided that especially if i can coming out for the film festival and for other events and the fact they're a black shoe i'm, I'm d without a doubt going to get my absolute money's worth out of these so i just used some savings these and decided to take the plunge but anyway anyway i need to I need to make myself some breakfast and get off to my svs appointment okay oh gosh i'm very tanned in this light okay i'm ready to go i'm gonna go get my lashes done because they're still really good for my lvl they're really up still so it'll be great for some extensions i am back from my lash appointment look at them <laughs> they're so fluttery they look so good. 
oh, I just love them so much. So now I don't have to do loads of things to my lashes when I'm going on my trips. So I'm going away on Thursday to Austria, driving down to Venice, and then hopefully going straight from Venice over to Nice for Cannes Film Festival until Monday. So a few things coming up and that's why I wanted to have some lashes done. So yeah, these are the SVS lashes from Nouveau Lashes. Yeah, so I thought, just in case I don't need to do anything else for the rest of the day and I don't check in. Thank you for watching the vlog guys. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I guess I'll just see you in the next one or the next video. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram so you can see all of my red carpet pics from Cannes and all my stories from Cannes um, and this amazing Austria trip is going to be absolutely insane. I think you're going to want to follow that on Instagram. I think it's going to be so much fun. So I hope I'll see you over there. My Instagram is just in the fro if you don't already follow me and uh, that's it. I love you lots and I'll see you soon. Mwah.